Hello guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that cable AB is 65 feet long and the tension in the cable is 3900 pound. Determine the X, Y and Z components of the tension in AB cable exerted by the cable on the anchor B and the angles of this tension the uh, theta x theta y and theta z defining the direction of that force so we are asked to find the components of the tension in this cable ab and we are asked to find the angle of this tension with the positive x y and z axis respectively so we need to find theta x theta y and theta z for the tension in cable AB. So the actual diagram is like this. This is my actual figure. So I have erased this AC from this particular diagram in order to focus on this AB cable. So I have erased that AC cable. So now I'm going to delete this one. This is the figure that we, we are going to focus on. So we want to find the tension in AB rope we want to find the components of the tension in AB rope at point B are the components that are applied on the anchor B. So now let's say we need to cut the rope and if I cut the rope, we will be able to see the tension. This will be my tension. And let's say this is T. And if we resolve this tension into its components, we will have Ty component in the upward direction like this. We will have the component parallel to the y-axis. So this one will be Ty. Let me make it a bit large like this since it's a 3D, the, the tension is in space. And then we will have um, TH component. We will have the component which will be along this OB line like this. So this one will be the TH component. This is let's say TH. And then we have this TH component since this is the x z plane and the force the tension is acting from b to a like this so it will have one component on the x z plane that is on the ground right so this is th then we are given that the line of action of this th is making 20 degree with the positive x so we will have further two components we will have one component in the positive uh, in the negative x like this and this is parallel to the x-axis it we will have the component like this this will be our the green one will be tx this is also on the ground and we will have one component in the positive z like this this is tz Now you, you people will be wondering that why Tx is in the negative x. So the sum of Tx and Tz, they must give us Th. And since this point, the tension T is acting from B to A and point A is on the top of point O. So the Ty and Th component, they must start from the tail of this T. Since these are the components as well, the sum of Ty and Th, they must give us T. So this Ty plus Th, they must give us T. So that is why the Th direction is towards point O. So we can, we can draw this Th here as well. We can draw this Th here as well. Let me draw the Th here. This green one is parallel to the Th as well. This is Th. So that is why TH is acting towards this point O. And then since this TH is in the 
x z plane and this th is making 20 degree with the positive x axis so it will have further two rectangular components one is tx and the other one is tz and again the by, by head to tail rule the sum of tx plus tz must give us this th now how to approach this problem we are given the height of the pole which is uh, 56 feet and we are given the length of this AB cable which is 65 feet so we are given a B length which is 65 feet we are given OA the height of the pole which is 56 feet now as I have discussed that this OB is in on the XZ plane it is lying on the floor and this is the pole which is in the vertical direction so here we will have that 90 degree angle so now if we look into this um, a o b triangle so this is a right angle triangle and it is standing on the exact plane and this a b is the hypotenuse of that triangle and this is the 90 degree so this is the base and this is the perpendicular so now let's say that this tension is making some angle theta y with the pole right the angle of this tension with the y axis will be theta y so let's say that here we have that angle theta y and as we know that this ty this is the component in the y direction so this vector must be parallel to the pole so if this is theta y then this is theta y as well since both of these angles are alternate angles so we can say that this is theta y as well now as i have told you people that this a o b this is a right angle triangle so we can apply cos of theta y so cos of theta y so for this angle the this is the base and this is the hypotenuse so the base is o a and the hypotenuse is a b so we can write that cos of theta y is o a divided by a b so A is the base and AB is the hypotenuse so 56 divided by 65 and from this we can find theta y so theta y will be equal to the cos inverse of that ratio divided by 65 this gives us 30.51 so theta y is 30.51 degrees this is very important now we have determined theta y since here we are asked to find theta x, theta y and theta z. Theta y is now known. Now if theta y is now known, if if this theta y is known, then ty, then, then this is also a right angle triangle. So this, this ty plus th must give us this t, right? So the angle is made with theta y, so theta y will be the cos component of this t. Now the T magnitude is given which is 3900 pounds. So TY is, we can say that TY is T cos of theta Y since the angle is made with TY. So T is 3900 cos of, we can, we can use this ratio, cos of theta Y is this ratio. So instead of finding the angle, we can use this ratio as well. So so I will write that cos of theta y is that ratio 56 divided by 65. So 3900 multiplied by 56 divided by 65. This gives us ty 3360 pounds. Now, now this is ty. Now we can find th since um, this is the right angle triangle so th is if ty is the cos component then th is the sine component so we can write that th is t sine of theta y and t is 3900 sine of theta y is 30.51 so 3900 sine of 30.51 this gives me 1980
so th is approximately 1980 pounds so this is our th now we can further resolve this th here we have tz plus tx will give us th so now again the angle is made with tz so tz is the cost component of th so we can write that tz is th cos of 20 degrees since here we have that uh, 20 degree angle now sorry the angle is not made made with tz if if we draw this tz plus tx then the angle is made with tx right so tx is the cost component so i need to replace this by x so this is tx so th is 1980 cos of 20 so 1980 cos of 20 this gives me 1860 approximately so tx is 1860 pounds And similarly, if if this is the case, if this is Tz and this is Tx and Tx is the cost component, then Tz is the sine component. So we will write that Tz is uh, 1860 th sine of 20 degrees and Th is 1980 sine of 20 degrees. 1980 sine of 20 this gives us 677 so this is equal to 677 pound so this is tz this is tz now we have to look for the direction so ty is in the positive y so this is positive tz is in the positive z along the positive z this is positive and tx is in the negative so this must be negative so we will write minus sign here now we know all the components and we we want to find uh, we know theta y we want to find theta x and theta z so we need to write this t the tension in cable AB as a Cartesian vector so T vector this will be equal to TXI plus TYJ plus TZK now TX is minus 1860 TY is 3360 and TZ is 667 K and this is T vector now t magnitude is known right t magnitude is 3900 pounds remember now we know that t vector is equal to t magnitude times lambda the unit vector and we can say that the lambda is t vector divided by the magnitude this t bold t is the magnitude and we have so this is our t vector divided by the magnitude so this is my magnitude magnitude is 3900 so the unit vector lambda is equal to 1860 divided by 3900 i plus 3360 divided by 3900 j plus 677 divided by 3900 k and similarly we we know that the unit vector in terms of the angles theta x theta y and theta z can be written as cos of uh, this is minus right this is minus so cos of theta x i plus cos of theta y j plus cos of theta z k now we can compare this so by comparison we can say that this ratio is equal to this this ratio is equal to this and this ratio is equal to this so we can say that cos of theta x is equal to 
similarly cos of theta y is equal to now this ratio must give us that theta y angle which is 30.51 so now theta x is we can say that theta x is cos inverse of this ratio so cos inverse of minus 1860 divided by 3900 this gives us theta x equals to 118.5 degrees similarly cos of theta y is Thirty-three sixty, so that is again we got that same theta y angle, that is thirty point five one, or we can say thirty point five degrees. And similarly, cos of theta z, cos inverse of theta z, uh, sorry, cos inverse of that ratio is six hundred and seventy-seven divided by that, so that is theta z is equal to eighty degrees approximately. So this is theta x theta y and theta z now we can say that theta x is 118.5 degrees so this t is making let's assume that this is a line which is parallel to the x-axis so this t is making 5 degree angle with the x-axis with the positive x-axis this is this is the positive x-axis line let me draw the the positive x-axis here so this is the positive x-axis so this t is making 118.5 degree uh, angle with the positive x-axis similarly it is making again that same theta y 30.51 with the positive y axis and similarly with the z axis it is making this angle so with the z axis it is making 80 degree angle like this so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by Baron john